Let's analyze together the company Maxim Solar Technologies. Let's see. First of all, remember to read the disclaimer right here and also in the description below. Wow, we have another stock right there as a perfect example of what we mentioned in the previous video. Let's go again to the monthly chart to see this devastating downtrend movement. Wow, completely Ooh. insane. Look at that crash right there. This is why risk management is key. In our opinion, we are talking about a stock that was trading around $40 and is right now trading at 24 cents completely insane what do you think about it guys did you know about it let us know in the comments below and let's get started well we're talking about minus 98.84 percent from that breakout absolutely nuts at this particular point guys what's happening with this stock obviously we have to take a look at the fundamentals Eric. what can you tell us about that yeah, what, from the fundamental side, it's a very difficult situation for this company. You can clearly see the latest earnings right there uh, with a very negative surprise factor, 69% uh, in the negative side. And also the revenue was negative, but we, we tend to see more the earnings. And you know, it, it wasn't good. And you can see like the price reacted in a very uh, according way, we could say, to those uh, reports. So what do you think about them, Alvaro? Yeah, obviously at this particular point, you only have two quarters in the last four years that, it, that is in positive net income. And that's an important factor. Actually, the best results ever in the price action, oh, they, they are also the same. You know, we're talking about that they, when the stock was trading at five, $57, is when they make profits, you know, in back in December 2020. And the second time it happened, it was in March 2023 when they made like 20 million of net income. It's, it's important, you know, uh, to, to use, to, to analyze the net income instead of the revenue because the revenue that doesn't have everything and, you know, all the information you may, you might need. And, and what you need is actually if they are making profits out of the business or not. And the net income is the best tool for that. Yeah, in that type of sense, it's uh, a correlation you can see right there. The net income was positive and the price was making almost new highs that second time. And now with this bad earnings, you know, uh, well, we could say one, two, three, yeah, fourth consecutive net incomes in the negative side, maybe five. And we have to wait and see these next ones. I think they, they will be key because with this uh, lowest prices than ever, we could say like the opportunity is also there. But we also have some news related uh, with some investigations and something related with that. I think there were, I don't know if there were rumors or if they were uh, like factual news. Let us know in the comments if you know about it. So it seems like from the fundamental side, it's a very difficult situation for this company. And from the technical side and the price action side, we can say that it is reflected in the price, you know, because this last um, this last month for the stock, you can see like the gap for the downside that happened in the 31st of May uh, was completely insane. Let's see the exact percentage. We are talking about minus 40%, something like that. And from there, it started to go lower again in the price. And from there, we had another down right here, the 1st of July, another gap minus 60 something percent if, it, if this data is correct so very interesting to analyze that also why could that happen and why is this going on you know because obviously the, the situation that we say uh, we saw with the net income isn't the best in the world but this is completely devastating you know these last months have been crashing this stock to the lower side yeah, also guys, remember what happened when you are trading on the NASDAQ below $1. They need to do a stock split in order to stay on the NASDAQ. It happened in, in, in many stocks in the past. It's happening this year in many stocks and it's going to happen with this one. If they don't reverse the price and it doesn't seem that way. Actually, let's see the forecast and let's see if what, what they can do in terms of the, you know, of, the, of the expectations for the next quarters. Yeah, it's interesting. We have six analysts offering one year price forecast. You know, maximum two thousand percent. Come $5. on. <laughs> yeah, and also we have the average one point fifty, so five hundred percent, and then the minimum one just minus twenty percent, uh, around twenty cents. Very interesting. You know, I didn't expect to see this. You can see like the forecast for the EPS uh, seems to be positive for them. In the annual, you can see like uh, three point minus three point twenty two for this year, minus one point fifty, two thousand twenty five, and two thousand twenty six minus zero point seventy five. And the quarterly, they expect like a better earnings uh, according to this. So very interesting. We will wait and see. It could surprise me to see uh, this uh, forecast being like 
completed, you know, in the bullish side. I don't know. This is the first time that we see this stock and it is very surprising. We want to analyze it with you because from the technical side, it's completely insane and we can learn a lot of lessons. But what, guys, what do you think? This is my question. Do you agree with this forecast or do you think like they are crazy? What is your opinion right there? Or maybe you don't agree and you don't think they are crazy. It could be another option. I mean, I, I, I think they have, you know, these analysts have shares of this stock because the forecast is incredibly oh, high. The, the, and they should if they believe like that's the maximum two thousand percent. Yeah, but but look at that. You know, we had the reporting earnings that always, almost always, worse than the expectations. So I don't think they are doing it right. You know, the Wall Street analysts, uh, because if you if you see that normally it's correlated. The, the, the difference should be minimum. Like okay, the reported earnings is like minus one point six, uh, and then the estimate was one point. Five, you know, but this here is completely different. There is a huge gap. Look at the, the first quarter of 2024. We're talking about like a more than 0.50, uh, you know, EPS difference. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, exactly. That's a very huge difference right there. And, you know, in the price side, we can say like obviously the investors uh, saw something, you know, because this drop in the price is very dramatic and it, it is not a core, it is not correlated with the previous movements that we can see right here because the price was going lower but not at this pace and not with those gaps to the downside so maybe they see something that they there is not re released yet we don't know it or they predict something or maybe this is just like another opportunity to buy at the lower price and it could reverse you never know the future and as a trader you have to be prepared for everything so that's why our question is why what do you think and why about this stock because i think indeed it's interesting you know because we have a very bullish forecast but from the technical side it seems very de very bearish yeah, yeah, leave your comment below. So let us know what's happening and what do you or, or, or what you have about this stock, the information you have, share with us and let's see how it goes. Thank you very much. Remember to check these other videos right here. Have a nice weekend and welcome to Trading HD. Let's go.